politics. Joining me now to talk taxes and IRS, Grover Norquist, the president of Americans for Tax Reform. Grover, it is great to have you here. We're going to talk IRS in just a second, but first I want to get you to, well, some comments from the Speaker of the House, John Boehner, who was pretty critical of your organization and some others. Here's what he had to say recently. They pushed us into this fight uh, to defund Obamacare and to shut down the government. Uh, most of you know, my members know, that wasn't exactly the strategy that I had in mind. Uh, but uh, if you recall, the day before the government reopened, uh, one of the people, at one of these groups, stood up and said, well, we never really thought it would work. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What do you say to that? <laughs> uh, well, look, we're moving forward uh, on... Uh, protecting the sequester, and, and just for the record, he wasn't criticizing my group. We didn't endorse the defund only strategy. Uh, but uh, what, what uh, Boehner's put together and the, and the deal that was just put through the House um, protects the sequester for the next decade. What people, I think, were not aware of is that there was very real pressure on the sequester from some of the Republican appropriators and uh, some of the defense hawks who wanted to spend more money on defense. So the sequester is now good for a decade, stronger than it was before, and most important, we replaced the spending cuts, spend, I'm sorry, spending increases of uh, two years with permanent spending cuts well, okay, through Okay, for our viewers, here's a, a rough synopsis of what this budget yeah. proposal does. Total federal spending at $3.5 trillion, caps government spending levels, oh. reduces the deficit. Here's some just big picture numbers for you to take a look at on this, mm. on this budget. And I've got to tell you, Grover, it's interesting. Mm. I've got to think there's so much complaining about this budget on both sides of the aisle that it might be the right tonic right now. Well, what it does do is allow us to focus on Obamacare for the next several months and get ready for the uh, 2014 election. <laughs> right. So it has that advantage. Well, let's talk about Obamacare for a second, because, look, here's what I think. Uh, you pay a ton of attention to taxes. Mm -hmm. I believe that when Americans start getting their tax bill uh, for 2013 next April, there's going to be some very long faces. People are going to be very upset. Insiders are even telling me that they expect Americans to start moving to low-tax states because the impact mm -hmm. is going to be so horrendous. And as we know, a lot of this is Obamacare taxes. What is the burden of Obamacare for Americans and their taxes? Well, there are 20 different taxes in Obamacare. There are 47 new jobs for the IRS in Obamacare. Some of them just keeping track of stuff. You're going to have to present documentation about what kind of insurance you have and prove that you have it. Uh, so the IRS is going to be doing a lot of information gathering for Obamacare but also 20 taxes, those penalties for bad people who don't buy their Obamacare health uh, insurance, they're going to pay their fees, taxes, penalty right. through uh, the IRS, as well, well as everything from the tanning tax to the tax on uh, good health care plans that some people spend a lot of time to build up. Huge, huge taxes on investment income coming. Oh, New yes. taxes on, uh, it, you know, your regular old-fashioned income coming. People are going to see a big impact, particularly people who are wealthier. And mm -hmm. i got to tell you, is this the agency to do that? Let's take a look at some of the recent IRS scandals. The money they've spent on conferences, uh, $50 million, fraudulent tra tax refunds going to people all over the planet. Uh, they target the Tea Party. Uh, the list goes mm -hmm. on and on, and in this particular graphic, you can certainly see everything that's happened, and some of this just in the last few months alone. Grover, is the mm -hmm. IRS prepared to take on some of these responsibilities, particularly the ones you just outlined with Obamacare? Well, it's not clear they are, because they've been telling you that all of them, some of the harassment of political groups was sheer incompetence, that, that they weren't doing it on purpose. Now, incompetence as a defense does not make you feel really good about moving forward. I served on the Commission on Restructuring the IRS in the 1990s under Clinton, and they had the same kind of politically targeted uh, abuses of the IRS that, that we looked at then that we're seeing now. They're back at it again. So now they're going to have more of your data in the hands of the people who wanted to punish people who had Tea Party in their titles or were conservatives or uh, they thought didn't agree with Obama's political goals, now they're going to have a whole bunch more data and the ability perhaps 
to get their hands through that data into healthcare stuff. I mean, it's there ought to be a separation of church and state and IRS of, and 